Hello and welcome to this Power BI video and today we are going to discuss a use case where uh, customers gives us sales data which is daily and targets which are monthly, quarterly or yearly and they wanted to see it and one of the things which we say them then when they give us okay divide it daily and see it along with the day and this is somehow same problem customer comes to me also like they have this sales data which is like a daily data which is uh, based on date and they have target which is like kind of monthly qu and quarterly something like this and yearly and uh, in none of these sheets I knowingly taken dates because that's the typical case they comes up with the data and I want to solve it in that manner only so now the first challenge which we uh, come across is that they say that okay I have this monthly data so I say okay divide it by 30 days they say no 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 I want to see the monthly data on the daily basis and I want to subtract it from month till date want to see the remaining ones okay put it on first date but if i put it on the first date i'm not able to see on all the dates i want to see it on all the, all the dates that's the question they are asking so now let us go and see how can we deliver this now there are functions which are going to help and we are going to cover five functions uh, which are going to deliver this experience and so let's load it to power bi and i already loaded it to power bi let's go and look at the data model so if you look at the data model i have went ahead and loaded this file so this is your monthly target let's go back and first of all look at the daily sales this is my daily sales and this is the gross sales and these are the columns and i have hided those columns which are not required i went ahead in the monthly target and that's where i have started the calculation so hi first of all i went ahead and created a date out here so what i've done is i'm going to take a new column and show to you guys how i've done it so so basically I have say okay I don't have a date so I say 01 is my date I'm going to append a month to it so uh, which is by nothing but my order month then again I'm percent I'm going to need a year so I'm going to say I'm percent and I'm going to say year okay all coming from this table and I'll get a date like this and then I went ahead and actually mark this as a date column and it get converted into a date so it will convert it into a date and now because i don't need it i'm going to click on go and delete this column no more required for this one now the second thing which i have done is this i have done it end of date and that is very important in this particular video we are going to use end date everywhere and this is the first function we want to cover after the five functions we are going to deal with today is eo month and what we have seen is taken a date as the first parameter and end of the month is using zero because we need this month this is very powerful function because end of the month function requires a continuous date this eo one doesn't require it's going to give you end of the month without giving you a continuous date so we are going to give a date here but we if even if you get three day or max date or something is going to give us and we are going to use this function in another one which is um, so we go ahead and have this quarter table now and in this quarter table again we wanted to find out quarter uh, so quarter start date first of all so what i have to do is i separate out using the right function this first uh, character so this character which i needed is the q after q is one two three four now how to convert it into quarter so if i subtract one this will become zero this will become one i multiply it by uh, three so for in this case it will become zero in this case it will become three and then i add one so this will become four this will become one and this is my month which i wanted and what I've done is so this is the month which I wanted and then uh, I have a date I'm going to take a date and then I'm going to take a year and this is numeric so basically understand this is the numeric portion of it so that's why I'm taking uh, the because it's uh, my system is uh, MMDDYY so I'm taking MM first then DD and then year so in this manner so let's see first of all what is this is going to return and then how I convert it into date and then we are going to return back to this end of month again so this is what i got so i got it like this and these are my months at the starting and so i converted it i got a date like this so fine now what i've needed is uh because i'm going to use few functions which actually need the end dates so i'm going to delete this this is here no more needed so what i've done is basically this is start of the quarter so end of the quarter how far it is two months at the end of it so if i'm in january i need february and the march and i reach end of the march that's my end of the quarter and that's where it is 
so my quarter end of date is this and this where my now target is stored so my monthly target stored month and date and the date also means we have taken both and then quarterly target is stored at the quarter and date and similarly for year it was easy and then i have used one more function here then this is how very powerful date function i discussed in another one video also how to use this date as a date add also but this is a really powerful function i just given a year and one comma one and i've got got the date and end date is also so pretty easy because i gave 12 31 and this is standard year so i'm able to deal with it if you are dealing with non-standard year i have a post on power bi how to create all your 12 months calendar you can take help from that one to have your end date of your choices so now and then one more thing which we have done very important thing in power bi i created date table so calendar i from 2013 to 2020 we have created a calendar then standard month year and as we know month year doesn't sort properly so I created a month year sort for this one and if you see here sort by column is the month year sort column so mmm y by y and y by y mm it's going to sort quarter I have unknowingly taken in a way that I don't need to sort it that's why I take an year q1 q2 q3 so it automatically sorted get sorted out and then another one where I have taken the year and year is automatically sorted so I, I take an numeric only so that there is no challenge in the sorting and then this is my date table and then I went ahead and relate it and everywhere I'm going to relate it on the end date. So if you go ahead and see the connections are there with the quarter end date. So what I've done is I've just simply dragged it here and mapped it here. So this time is going to be warning because there's already a relationship. So we went ahead and done this. So date, date. So with the year, what is the date and date with month? What is the date and date and the gross sales is the order date. And so these things we got now we have three very powerful functions. And we are rarely using them and those are functions are we are first function i'm going to show you and then i'm going to explain the needs which i'm going to do here and if you how, want to know how i created these subfolder kind of stuff is just go ahead and watch my earlier video five uh, um, folder management tips or measure management tips where you can do close balance of the month close balance of the quarter and close balance of the year and what it is going to do is see this is my day Daily date. This is my daily sales. This is going on, and this is the last month. This is how we have configured. Okay, and we have joined on the end date, so it's showing at the last of the month. Okay, so how do I replicate it daily? And this is very powerful function. Close balance of the month. This is going to take it from the last date. And to test that, okay, is it really going to take from the last date, or is it summing it up? So we say, okay, we are going to create a new major and we are going to test it at right now for you. Is it sum of the entire month or only? So we are going to put here, which is our daily sales, is another major which is daily sales. It requires a continuous date and that's where the date current is because MTD is also again going to require it. So we have this not CV monthly, we call it CV sales just for showcasing purpose because then we don't need to show for all other majors come out this is going to be created and this we are going to put it into the first table this is the table we are going to put it let's put it near the sales this major is not yet created where is cb sales gone so let's find out where is cb sales Okay, it's not got created completely. CV monthly. We are going to take it again. We are going to search that major. Let's create again. So CV says close balance just for identification. Close balance of the month. We go ahead and remove and put sales out here, which is. We are calling daily sales. Enter. We are done. We got CB sales now, and let's put it near to daily sales. Okay. So you see, this is fifteen thousand two 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 two. This is just exactly what we have on the last of the month. This is what I wanted to show. I'm going to remove it now. Okay. Now CB monthly. So this is closing month, and this is where the customer wanted. Customer wanted. Don't want it to distribute it he wants the last day target or the target of the month which is we have knowingly put it on the last day this was not customer's choice this is the choice for the modeling that we have this function very powerful function closing balance of the month so we actually went ahead and actually now replicated it on all the dates 
now we have done is we have calculated MTD and this function you might be very much aware time intelligence we have talked about in so many blogs dates MTD daily sales and again continuous date from the date table I got MTD and this you can see simply uh, going to sum it up so daily it is summing it up now what is left out is achieved and achieved is something what is achieved on the daily what I am achieving so MTD sales buys this CV monthly if I do that's what I am achieving and that's where I am MTD sale by LV and then I what I have done is I'm, I have created one more function so this is LV monthly I am going to sh show you on the CV monthly I am going to put it into the command and we will see what is that LV that's our quick function of the day which we are going to cover right now with this one and then we will go to the quarter and year so you can see these numbers are there and then you remember this calculation was same when LV was there and now I come to what is this LV and this is another very powerful function last non blank value and remember here this is date and this function actually take a context context of the date so date itself is in the context when the last date is date itself if I have a time um, into then if I have multiple entries it is going to find based on the time what is the last entry so it's not going to find out any dates for me so I have given a date and it's not going to find out any dates for me so what I have done is I use this all except and in all except I say okay month but there is still the problem is not over because here there is this is, is still on the date level so I went ahead and say values values for the month so on the date take it on the daily basis and then give us the last value in the month so month is same for you the complete month is not a filter for you and be careful when you use it with all other because other filters are going to remove and in that manner uh, the closing balance of month may be very powerful compared to all except because here you are removing all other contexts other than the day but this function do able to replicate what we have done for the uh, closing uh, balance of the month and similar numbers you are taking and you remember on the formula of the percentage initially we were using LB so this is there and then what we have done is we have actually put down into two, two tables to showcase it to you so this is our monthly table and you were able to see the last date has that target and then this is my CB monthly MTD month achieve and then when I look at my month if you can see this is my cross sales of the month this is my monthly target this is my CB monthly and this is my percentage achieved and if you go on the last date you will see same percentage achieved so this is how we have done it now for quarterly and ideally it is pretty simple because we are going to replicate all those formulas and what we are going to do is very simply is CB quarterly so closing balance of the month quarter and if you see there there is no date no date no date and all of a sudden it's 31st we have this and this entire number 31st number 3243 we have done some mistake okay this is QTD sales so this is our number so this is the same number we are replicating and this is again LV quarterly when we calculate LV CV quarterly simply we have the closing balance of the month for LV again we have done some changes so last non blank value all except again for the quarter and then the values for the quarter um, year so each value of the quarter year we are taking and inside that one again for the quarter year we don't need to have any other filter than quarter year so that's how we are doing it so we got in another and then I have put down quarter target quarterly sales QTD sales percentage achieved so if you go and look at the end of the quarter here I scroll down till this place you will see 95 percent and this is 95 percent and then these are the values which are coming out very simple so this is our last not blank value and then we go to this yearly function and here again we have this function for year also available with us and that let's close these folders uh, so we have this CV yearly which is closing balance of the month and then same way uh, it's going to give us the yearly target and actually we have a scroll lot for this but let's go ahead and vary it no harm in doing that and this is where we are going to get it this is the number this is replicating this this place so this is how we got all these numbers sorted out and then yearly again we have given the particular percentage so when your customer comes up with these says okay I have a yearly target I have monthly target I have quarterly target you don't need to distribute it always yes distribution is good having a daily target is good that you know this is my daily target this is I achieved and all those but if they don't want to distribute you don't need to force them you have better ways to deal with it and the closing functions are real real powerful functions to do that these are actually meant for inventory 
so basically there is a set of functions which we are trying to cover in another one which are opening balances and the closing balances these are typically functions for inventory and finance but you know how useful they are for targets also and we have actually found out a way to use that so we told you how powerful function is end of month we calculated end of quarter from there how powerful the function is closing balance of the month closing balance of the quarter closing balance of the year and last non blank value and last long blank value can you know give you more things go and watch our blog regarding you know how to get the first customer sales on the first day so customer sales on the first day of the sale how much you have sold that customer but what was that date also you can find it out both things then second sales also it can help it out uh, we are going to provide you the links thanks for watching